Hello all. Welcome back. Let's see trick to solve Hardy Weinberg equilibrium problems. Hardy Weinberg equilibrium. It says gene frequency in a population remains constant from generation to generation if no evolutionary factors such as migration, mutation, selection and drift are operating. In this we consider allele A as P, allele small a as Q, the homozygous dominant one as P square, heterozygous 2PQ, homozygous recessive Q square. Let's go to the trick. Hardy Weinberg gave the main formula and basic formula P plus Q is equal to 1. We can write it as P plus Q the whole square is equal to P square plus 2PQ plus Q square. If they are given three alleles, we can use P plus Q plus R. The whole square is equal to P square plus Q square plus R square plus 2PQ plus 2QR plus 2RP. And here comes the main trick which confuses us is that whether to take P with square or without square. See, when uh, they are asking about the people, how much people are affected like that, we must take P with square. If they are asking about gene, if they are saying anything about the gene, we should take without square, only P. Let's see this question. The gene determining dark eye color in humans is dominant and it localizes in the autosome. Detect the light-eyed persons in the population where the concentration of gene determining the dark-eyed makes 0 0.5. Dark-eyed dominant and light-eyed recessive. Here they are asking detect the light-eyed persons. Here comes our trick. They are asking about persons. If they are saying about persons, we should take with square. See here, with square. They are given concentration of gene. Concentration of gene. They are speaking about gene. So this data, we should take it as without square. See this? Without square for gene. dark eyed dominant then about gene so we should take p p is equal to 0 0.5 we want light eyed persons so q q square for persons we want the q square so we should find first q from the formula p plus q is equal to 1 P is 0 0.5 from P plus 1 is equal P plus Q is equal to 1 we, we found Q is equal to 0 0.5 then Q squared is equal to 0 0.25 Q squared 0 0.25 which is 25 percentage so our light eyed people are 25 percentage Let's move on to next question. The gene determining dark hair color in humans is dominant. Detect percentage of light hair in the population where the concentration of gene determining dark hair is 0 0.8. This is same as the previous question. Concentration of gene. If P is 0 0.8 or Q is 0 0.2, we want light head population. Population is people. So, Q square. And this is our dark hair. It's our light hair. Let's move on to the next type of question. The concentration of a recessive allele determining 
द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ एन ऑटोसोमल रेसेसिव डिसीज इन सर्टेन पॉपुलेशन इज जीरो पॉइंट फाइव फाइन क्वान्टिटी ऑफ हेटरोजाइकस कैरियर्स इन द पॉपुलेशन ऑफ वन मिलियन पर्सनस द गिवन इंफॉर्मेशन इज अबाउट द रेसेसिव अलिल इट्स द क्यू क्यू इज जीरो पॉइंट फाइव वी आर एस टू फाइन हेटरोजाइकस कैरियर्स विच इज द टू पी क्यू विल फाइन पी देन विल फाइन टू पी क्यू If Q is zero point five, P is also zero point five. P plus Q is equal to one. We'll find two P Q. We got zero point five, which is one by two, and the total population is one million. They are asking the heterozygous carriers, so half a million is heterozygous carriers, which is five lakhs. In our next question, we have gene determining the dark eye color in mice is dominant. Two light eye color. The dark eyes comprise fifty one percentage. Find the percentage of the heterozygous carriers. The dark eyed mice fifty one percentage. These are light eyed ones. We have to find heterozygous carriers. They are speaking about fifty one percentage. This fifty one percentage is. mice population so these are also people so we should take square dark eyes which means p square the homozygous one and the heterozygous also we have to take in account because they too have dark eye this is a point where we make mistake we will only take p square but in this case both the homozygous and the heterozygous we should consider because both are dark eyed so 2 pq which is 51 percentage see here if p squared plus 2 pq which is a dark eyed if they are 51 percentage the remaining might be the light eyed ones see here they are the balance 49 percentage which is 0.49 if q square is 0.49 Q is zero point seven. We need heterozygous carriers, which is two P Q. Q is zero point seven. Then P is zero point three. We need two P Q. Okay, two P Q, which is two into zero point three into zero point seven, zero point four two, which is forty two percent. Our next question is: In humans, the genes for recess factor. 